All right, in this video, we're going to simplify some expressions, and we're basically going to try to reduce the powers. So um, a couple identities that are useful. It says cosine squared of theta. That equals 1 plus cosine of 2 theta over 2. Sine squared of theta is 1 minus cosine of 2 theta over 2. So what we're going to do is we're going to use, uh, in this case, the second identity. And we're going to rewrite the expression sine uh, to the fourth of 2t. So the first thing I'm going to do, because this identity involves sine squared, I could rewrite sine to the fourth as sine squared of 2t. All of that squared, that'll still give me to the fourth power. And now I'm going to use the identity for sine. It says we get 1 minus cosine. Well, it says normally if you have just uh, a single variable, it says we double it. Well, now we've already got 2t. If we double that, we'll get 4t. And we'll divide all of that by 2. And again, this is going to get squared. All right, so a couple things. Um, you could think about this as being the same thing as 1 half times 1 minus cosine of 4t. All of that is being, again, squared. So we have to square everything. Well, 1 half squared is simply going to give us 1 fourth. But then we have to uh, still, we also have to square the 1 minus cosine 4t. Well, I'm going to write that out. So we'll get 1 minus cosine of 4t times 1 minus cosine of 4t. And now we're just going to have to simply distribute. So. Um, I'm going to leave the 1 fourth alone for a moment. I'll just leave that hanging out front. Um, so if we distribute, we'll get 1 times 1, or 1. We'll get 1 minus cosine 4t, or just a negative cosine of 4t. On the inside, uh, we'll get a negative cosine 4t times 1, or again, a, a negative, just simply cosine 4t. Negative cosine of 4t times negative cosine of 4t is going to give us positive cosine squared of 4t. So actually, we're going to have to use um, our identity, uh, uh, one of those identities again, because we don't want the squared term. But again, let's simplify this for just a moment. So this will give us 1 fourth out front. This would be 1 minus, uh, it looks like, 2 cosine of 4t. And again, plus cosine squared of 4t. Okay, well now I'm going to use the other identity uh, for the cosine squared of 4t. So let's find that one. Notice the only thing that's different between these two identities is just the positive and the negative. That's the only thing, it's the only kind of difference between them. So um, in this case, okay, so again we still got the 1 fourth that's uh, hanging out front. 1 minus 2 cosine of 4t. But again, I'm going to have to use my identity. So instead of putting it all over 2 like we did, I'll just pull the 1 half out front. And it says we would have 1 plus cosine. Well, again, if it's theta, it says we double it. We've got 4t. If we double 4t, we'll get 8t. Let's see, make sure I got enough parentheses. And now again, uh, we basically at this point, we've basically reduced it. Notice um, all of our trig functions are simply to the first power, and that's what we're shooting for here. And uh, those of you that end up taking calculus, this is something, uh, this ends up being something that's important. Uh, is a lot of times you'll get to situations where you do have to somehow, you know, reduce all of these powers uh, to make things somehow a little more manageable. So, uh, so all I'm going to do now is I'm going to distribute the 1 half out. So we would get 1 half times 1, or just 1 half. We'll get plus 1 half cosine of 8t. All right, uh, not a ton more to do here. We've got a 1 plus a half. If you make that 2 over 2, 2 over 2 plus 1 over 2 will give us 3 over 2, minus 2 cosine of 4t plus our 1 half cosine of 8t. And to me, this would be uh, certainly an OK place to, uh, to probably stop. Another thing you could do if you don't want the fractions on the inside, 
we could actually factor the one half out front. We'll have to be a little careful. So suppose we pull the one half out front. Well, one half times three, one half times three would give us the three halves. Well, I think one half times negative four, if we take one half times negative four, that'll give us our negative two. And then we need our cosine of four t. Um, we pulled out the positive one half, so all we would be left with would be cosine of eight t. And now we can always just multiply the one fourth and the one half, which will give us one eighth. And we're left with three minus four cosine of four t plus cosine of eight t. And I think that looks beautiful. I think I would leave it right there and uh, that would be my, my final answer.